Breaking news, my wonderful people. Hmm. The very man who is the governor of Benway State have made a very serious uh, commitment saying, I have written my will. My wife cried when I gave it to her. I'd rather die than support a Fulani, another Fulani president. You know, when a man is speaking like this, it is because he has his eyes has seen the back of his ears. Now I'm speaking in terms of idiomatic expression. It is not right, it is not um, usual that a mortal man who is still alive, hmm? even if dead, the eyes cannot see the back of his ear. Okay, all things being equal, you're not looking at a mirror and all that. But what leads to such a thing when somebody has gone through unthinkable situation? He said, I've seen beyond what I should see. It is beyond I can imagine. And so that's why this man is not supporting Atiku in any way, form or kind. He has told Nigerians, I am not with the Atiku and his people. This is what is happening. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. I have written my will. My wife cried when I gave it to her. I would rather die than support Fulani president. Samuel Otom, the governor of Benway State, Samuel Otom has said that he has written his will because he is ready to die defending his people, defending Nigerians. He said he would never support any Fulani man to become Nigerian's president. The tragedy that he has said his people have experienced is not what he can allow to continue or to happen in a million years. Not anymore. The days are over. We will never allow such to happen. According to him, he's ready to die at 62 before leaving, after leaving office as well as continue to defend his people. What we, the suffering we have experienced is beyond words can imagine. We will never allow such again. Otom said this on Sunday when he hosted his colleagues from Rivers, Oyo, Abia, and Enugu to a dinner party held at the government house, Mercordi. The four governors who came and were hosted by the Benway State Governor are Yeson Wike, who is the Rivers Governor, Ikweazu Abia Governor, Sheyi Oyo Governor, Ifai Enugu Governor had arrived in Makodi on Sunday for the official flag off of the PDP governorship and other campaign flag off scheduled for Monday. He said to hell with Atiku and anyone supporting him. They should go and tell him, you want me to slay for his Fulani? It's better I die. Anybody supporting Atiku is an enemy of Benwe. We know what we have gone through, what people have experienced. My tenor ends in May. And you can do whatever you want if you would think you have the power. I have written my will. I gave it to my wife. She cried all night. If I die at 62, many of my mates have gone long before then. If I die today, I fulfilled, I'm fulfilled as a person. But let it be recorded that I died resisting at the invasion and callousness of my people. I will never allow a full any man to become Nigerian's president again as much as in my power. I will never allow such. If there is any person who is ready to work with me and ensure the security of my people, I will work with him, Otom said. As the punch reports, the governor appreciated God for journey mercies granted to his colleagues from their various destinations to Benway and described them as true friends of Benway people. He said, we can heard a title of the ego of Thieve Land, noting that when he Otom was attacked. Wiki was the first person who rallied round him, saying that killed Otom and you have killed the whole Nigeria. He did not keep quiet when Benway was under siege. He visited with stakeholders from Rivers and committed 250 million. Subsequently, he has committed over 700 million to Benway IDPs. Otom condemned some Benway sons, particularly those of the National Assembly, who, according to him, are keeping mute over the talents ongoing in Benway State, saying, from tomorrow, I am turning my venom on the National Assembly members from the state who are rallying around Buhari to kill the Benway people. How can you kill your own? 
So this is what is happening right now. This is what is going on. And you can see for yourself. You can see for yourself. Okay. It, you can see for yourself. The, the, it, it, is, it is unimaginable the things that are going on and why we all must continue to speak out and do not allow these people who have no iota of concern for us as a nation to continue in the way they are doing. It is unbelievable. The way they are going about things, it's truly unbelievable. For a long time, Nigerians have suffered needlessly in silence because we are, we are trying to accord everyone due respect. Apparently, the people we are respecting do not even have respect for themselves because um, if they do, they will rather not behave the way they are behaving. They have destroyed the nation in no small way and we cannot allow such to continue in any way. We cannot allow such. You see how terrible things have become? You see how devastating you know, things have become. And so it is time. It is high time we begin to rise up. Okay. I mean, the Benway people, we all know what has been going on with our brothers and sisters from Benway state. We know how Buhari's government and all, you know, how things have been going. Okay. This is, this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Okay. It, it, it is terrible when we allow such to continue to happen. It is terrible. We will not allow people who have no iota of concern to be the one, you know, taking the lead in the country. They have destroyed the nation in no small way. Okay, they've destroyed the nation in no small way. It is terrible. It is terrible. What Nigerians have been experiencing in the hands of those bad people who call themselves leaders, it, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And so we must begin to prepare our hearts and minds and come out of the current devastation and all that is going on. We, we, need, we need freshness, okay? We need something fresh. If for nothing, let's just have a different perspective and just see something different. Let's just have something different. The days that are becoming, you know, that have been, that have been keeping us, you know, in a, devastating, in a in devastating situation and all that have been happening, it's unbelievable, okay? Nigerians will go out there, vote for them, thinking and trusting that these people will help. All of a sudden, you'll be, you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised how they how they go about and the same people that they are supposed to be supporting are the very same people they are destroying. The very same people they are destroying. So why should we allow such or such people to continue? Leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Bye for now.